Hello, everyone. What is up? Welcome. I am the OGGO Craig Osmond. Thank you so much for joining me today. Episode 29, 22 Sprint Car Racing Career Mode. Episode 29, like I said. If you missed the last, last episode, you can click that I top right of the screen. Go check that out. See what happened in that one. Make sure you like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. So you follow along with this and everything else we got going on here. Check out the video description for all of our channel supporters, as well as information on how to become a channel member, channel memberships, as well as YouTube Super Thanks are also available below the video. <coughs> video description also has a link to my merch. My racing merch uh, is down there. Through my race pass, it's all print on demand. You got hoodies, you got t-shirts, you've got tank tops, you've got sweatshirts, all different colors, all different sizes. Go get that, get it shipped directly to you help out our race team for the rest of the year like i said episode 29 here tony stewart sprint car racing we're at the big track millersburg in arkansas but we've got some other stuff we gotta do here first let's head to the garage you'll see we need to repair this steel standard block we've got one hundred twenty-eight thousand thirty-six dollars in the bank so let's repair that right now Woohoo! it's a hundred percent but wait a minute wait a minute we have enough money for a better engine we have enough money for this better, <clears throat> uh, it, I'm going to assume it's just a whole engine, even though it just says steel combo block. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to buy that and equip that. Oh, yeah. So switch out part. We come back down here, or our steel standard block here. We're going to sell that for $5,700 in the bank. So we got all high, uh, high item Every item we've got here is the highest one-star level uh, item. So if we look at wing, the next logical $126,000 <coughs> for the most uh, highest performance one there. If we look at tires, we've got $169,000. If we look at suspension, it's $169,000. If we look at chassis, two hundred and eleven thousand dollars jesus and then engine for that one is three hundred eighty thousand so uh by the time we get down to the highest three star level items it's going to be this is going to be a million dollar car uh if not more so millersburg <laughs> raceway is up next in arkansas like i said it's a one mile track in the daytime low banking 40 lap main event, $33,000 to the winner. It doesn't say who's presenting this showcase like uh, uh, All-Star Racing does, um, or All-American Racing, sorry. So uh, I don't really know what's going on there. If we look at our schedule and check out what happened since last time you saw us, uh, we finished 15th at Farm Mill Raceway in Pennsylvania and 14th at Circle Lake in Michigan. Jacobs County in North Carolina, we finished 19th. Uh, Desert Rings Raceway Park in Nevada, we finished 19th. Grant Park in Indiana, we finished 13th. That was a good race. I like that track. Uh, it's, it suits my driving style very well. And up next, we've got Millersburg. So we're sitting 16th in points with 16, 1,652 points, only six points behind Jack Carter. <clears throat> we're 100 points behind Abby Barnes at 13th. So... Got a lot to do to make up for that. Let's check out the top of the standings here. we got Aaron Reitzel, Tony Stewart, Zeb Wise, top three. Three wins, three wins, four wins, uh, respectively, for those three drivers. Paul McMahon has a win. Corey Lyson's got two wins as well in the top five. So uh, we're a little ways out from that. Um, <clears throat> I think we just need to start consistently gathering uh, top tens, top fives, and then start worrying about wins after that. But... Um, they're going to come. We've got that better engine right now. So let's head to Millersburg in Arkansas. <coughs> head to the big track, the big one mile track. We've got two of those here. Arca cars are going to be, Arca cars and the uh, Silver Crown cars going to be racing on it this coming weekend. So uh, the 20th, what is it? The Yeah, the 20th and 21st or 19th, 20th of August. Regardless, let's head to Millersburg and get this race going. Hello everybody and welcome to Millersburg Raceway, the longest track on the schedule, boasting the highest top speeds. This incredibly fast mile long oval was converted from a horse track nearly 50 years ago. The fans love it. Thanks for coming out tonight folks, it should be a great night of racing. Remember. 
remember, hot dogs and beverages are all 50% off between... Oh, yes. This should be a very fast, fast racetrack. The Springfield Mile, the one that's local to me, is uh, also a horse track, but it's not converted from... Uh, oh, I'm going the wrong way here. Um, it is still a horse track. Uh, they just got done racing horses on it. Or they're still racing horses on it. So uh, what we're going to do here, I've been tinkering around with setups with the other races I've been running. <clears throat> so I'm going to run what I've been running there um, just because it's been it's been working. Um, the big thing i got to figure out now is the... Um, rear end or the rear end ratio the rear gear ratio because we got that different engine now so 23 26 is the goal time to beat here for practice if we head out onto the track there's no one coming up behind us the biggest thing about the, these bigger tracks like this is you have to keep a steady wheel um, and i think i got to yeah i got too much gear uh so let's knock that down a couple Probably three notches uh, to a 420. Yeah, let's try that out. Because um, it's all momentum. You just want to keep the momentum up. There's three cars approaching us now. There's the first one right now on uh, right behind us. So, all right. Let's see. We still might have to adjust the, the re -up. Still got to do it. I don't want to hurt this engine. It's brand new. Can't hurt it. All right, we're going to go three more to 590. I probably should have just left it alone. Or 390, sorry. All right, so let's head back out here. All right. Got one car approaching, but they should get by us before we get up to speed. Maybe. Nope. Oh, they might get by us. It looks like Greg Wilson. Oop. I'm going to let him go. I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell who it was. Uh, but yeah, you just got to keep a, a steady wheel, which I have a hard time doing because I run, I run this game on a controller. It's very difficult to. I might actually plug my wheel in <laughs> for this one, to be honest with you, uh, just because it would be a little easier to control at a big track like this. Car does the car is a lot faster than it has been previously. That's Tony Stewart right in front of us. Look how sideways they are, Jesus. Twenty one ninety nine, yeah. I think we're all right. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna go here um, and stick these wheels as far out as they will go, because that will add a little bit of stability into the car. Jesus, I go all the way up. All right, I'm going to run a couple more laps like this um, because I just want to make sure that it's where I want it. If I run faster than a 2199, then I actually I need to tweak the... And go back down to a 380, maybe, uh, 370 actually. All right, so let's head back out here. Oh, I guess we're not heading back out. I hit the wrong button, but whatever. Uh, we did hit our sponsor bonus for practice. Qualifying time now. <clears throat> Pole positions in 1996. Take a swig of beverage right there. All right, Lincoln Welders is the showcase sponsor, by the way. Uh, I don't know why they don't show that in advance but 1996 is the pole position we're not going to get that but let's see if we can qualify decent uh, i've been stuck around like 20th jesus uh 28th has been the most common number that's come up uh recently in regards to qualifying like i haven't been able to break away from the high t mid to high 20s in qualifying so the goal here is to qualify better than 28th <laughs> um so yeah, let's see what we can do here. Twenty-one ninety-nine is what we ran in practice. Uh, Twenty-two seventy-six is the sponsor goal time to beat. Um, I might actually soften up that right rear 
torsion bar because it's it's just a little too a little too stiff. We need it to lean over just a little bit. 21.54 is our fastest lap ever. That is, I don't know if you can see down at the bottom right of the screen, <coughs> entering the corner at 175 miles an hour. Uh, fun fact, the Springfield Mile in uh, Springfield, Illinois, does hold a world record for fastest, uh, fastest lap by a, a winged sprint car. 21.29 is our fast lap. 13th. Okay, I will take that. Uh, same as Swindell said it, I don't remember what the time was but it was moving it was under like it was like 18 seconds or something like that uh but yeah we're gonna start third in heat three <coughs> after a decent qualifying effort much better than what we had before zeb wise and he's been blistering everybody lately uh 1996 the only sub 20 second lap time uh grabs the the pull position there aaron reitzel paul mcmahon second and third tony stewart Corey lyson Rounding out the top five, let's head back to the pit area to get ready for heat race. All right, heat race time here. Uh, like I said, I'm going to come soften this up a little. I'm going to go halfway on all of it. So uh, halfway on the preload, halfway on the actual torsion bar, um, just to soften it up a little so it's not so bouncy. Uh, on the right rear. So we're going to start third in heat race number three. Let's see if we can put it in the show from the heat race. It's time for heat three. The top two move on to the dash. All right. Top three go to the dash. Top two to the – or I'm sorry. Top three qualify for the A main. Top two qualify for the uh, qualify dash. So let's see what we can do here. Got off to a good start. Whoa. They just drove right down the track. Brad Miller gets by us through turns one and two, but we're going to get right back by him. Down the back stretch as Abby Barnes is now set in our sights. We haven't been in a qualified dash in a long time, if ever. I don't remember if we've ever been in one. We're going to get by Abby Barnes going into turn number one. Grab that second spot. In heat race action. All right, I softened it. I softened up the right rear too much. So uh, you can see as I go through the corner, you'll notice the front tires are turned to the left more often than the right. So um, I need to split the difference. So I need to go to the preload. Uh, we were at three. We went to 150. So I'm going to move it back up to a two just to try to, or actually a 225 if it'll let me. I don't know if it'll let me do quarter inch increments, but. Uh, oh, uh, I guess. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Uh, Paul McMahon is uh, is uh, in front of us here, leading the heat race. About one second ahead of us. But yeah, uh, if we stiffen up the right rear, at least this is what I do in my car. I know it's not the physics and everything in this game is not exactly 100% realistic. So. Um, when you stiffen the right rear, it does loosen the car up a bit, and that's the problem we're having right now. The front end is wanting to push uh, towards the wall, so it is it does have a tight sensation. So um, you want to loosen the car up so it, it doesn't do that as much, and the back end comes around more. Um, we did gain a couple or a tenth or so on McMahon uh, that last lap, but we did lose it going into uh, going down the front stretch, but. We gained three tenths through turns one and two. We might have a shot at nabbing a heat race victory here as we're approaching the back of the field. McMahon, oh, he gets slowed down. He gets slowed down a lot by Jaworski. We're going to make a move down on the bottom of the track through turns one and two. We're now on the tail tank of Paul McMahon fighting. <coughs> oh, my God, my throat for a heat race victory. We're going to try to woe it up just a little bit going through, going down. Turn number three. Maybe we get slowed up again on the on the slow out of the little back back marker of Crawford. We're gonna again go into turn number one with a full head of steam right on the tail tank of Paul McMahon down the back stretch, the long back stretch at 190 miles an hour going into turn number three. We're gonna make a move down on the bottom side of the racetrack, and we've got him cleared. McMahon tries to cross over, nothing doing there as we're gonna lead that lap and grab the race lead. 
Oh my goodness, are we going to get a race? Are we going to get a heat race win at the biggest track after our first engine upgrade? We're going to go through turns three and four, coming out of turn number four down the front straightaway. The white flag is in the air. One more time around this big one mile oval. So we've got about a half second lead and growing over Paul McMahon. Paul McMahon. We've got the. Oh, I did not enter that corner ideally. Coming out of turn number four down the front straight away. And we're going to grab the heat race victory. <coughs> Had a good qualifying effort. Had a good heat race. We're going to start third in the qualified dash. Remember how you finish the qualified dash is how you start the A main. So we could be setting ourselves up for a very good day here with the All-Star Circuit of Champions Sprint Car Series. Oh, buddy. So there's Heat 3 results. We got the win. Paul McMahon comes home second, transferring into the qualified dash. Abby Barnes grabs that third and final transfer spot for the, oh, was it three or four? Whatever. She's going to qualify for the A main. Brad Miller, Henry Palmer rounding out the top five. Brandon Wheeler, Nick Crawford, Michael Jaworski, one lap down, rounding out the field of eight. All right, back here in the pit area. Let me take a swig of beverage here. Getting ready for the qualified dash, but remember, like I said, we're going to go and edit this here. We're going to bump this up to a 225, okay? Just to hopefully stiffen up that right rear a little bit more, but we're also going to stiffen up the bump on the right rear shock. All right, so hopefully that helps us out a little bit here. If we try it in the dash and it doesn't work, we can always go back or adjust something else. So starting third in the qualified dash, remember how you finish the dash is how you start the A main. So like I said, we could be setting ourselves up for a pretty good night here at the Millersburg Showcase. Let's head to the track and the qualified dash. Yes, sir. How you finish this is how you start the A main. You win this, you start on the pull the A main. We are in, oh boy. We're in a good spot here. Aaron Reitzel holding down second so far. Zeb Wise, like I said, he's been on a tear recently through all these other races we've been running. <clears throat> he's just been running away with several of them. But we're going to try to make a pass on Aaron Reitzel. We're underneath Reitzel right now for the second spot. As of right now, I realize we're not even one lap in. We're starting second. We're starting on the front row of the A-man, and we're going to hit the wall uh, as we go into turn number one. Still a little bit tight, so I think we need to go back to uh, uh, stiffening up that right rear torsion bar just a little bit more. And i got to stop screwing up getting into the corner. Zeb Wise. Uh, oh, Aaron Reitzel making a move down on the bottom. Oh, Far for Nougat. I thought I was cleared. This Paul McMahon's going to get by. Tony Stewart's going to try to get by as well. Corey Eliason making a move. I really want to start on the inside row, if at all possible. Let's try to get back by T. Stu. Uh, smoke. See, they're all entering the corner high and then driving down low. That's my opportunity to make a move and make passes. We're going to get back by Smoke down the back straightaway out of turn number two and into turn number three. Paul McMahon now in front of us. He finished second in our heat race. We're going to dive it down low going into turn number one. And we, you see all the time we gain right there. <clears throat> we do have a little bit of damage, I would presume. Yep. Oh, farf. Fart. Uh, I don't want to curse, but <laughs> uh, I screwed that one up. Uh, five laps to go here. So we're now in sixth position. Like I said, I want to start on the inside if at all possible. Ooh, that was very close to the inside wall. Ooh, it was kind of a slide job on Tony Stewart. On Smoke, Lyson. They're, they all see I did the same thing though. So all right, we got to figure something out here because uh, Car is tight. It is tight 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 It is Tuco Salamanca in Breaking Bad tight 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 um, 
But yeah, let's try to set sail here, get away from Eliason and Stewart, and try to get back by Paul McMahon so we can at least start or finish where we started this qualify dash. As we've come to the line this time by, we'll have two laps to go. Zeb Wise and Aaron Reitzel are gone. They're in their own zip code right now. Paul McMahon's about one second ahead of us. <clears throat> you see, we gained about three, four tenths going into turn number one because of how they enter the corner versus how we enter it. So um, need to put that in the memory bank for, for a main time. You can see one, one second gap there. And I didn't get an ideal entry there, uh, so we didn't gain as much. But it looks like we're going to come home fourth in the qualify dash here at Millersburg. 190 miles an hour going into the corner. I couldn't imagine in a wing sprint car. Well, yeah, we're going to come home fourth. That means we'll start the A main in fourth. Not a great showing, but not a terrible showing. But the good news here is that we've got a faster car than we've had all season. <clears throat> so Zeb Weiss gets the win. Aaron Reitzel second. Paul McMahon third. We come home fourth. Tony Stewart, Corey Elias in fifth and sixth. Skyler Gee, or G. Again, still don't know how it's pronounced. Greg Wilson, Gerard McIntyre Jr. and Justin Peck round out of the field in the qualify dash. All right, we're back here in the pit area. We're going to go back to our setups. We're going to go all the way on the preload, all the way up there. And then I'm also going to, probably against my better judgment, add two inches of stagger. All right. A main time, we're starting fourth. We've already achieved the showcase sponsor goal. But here we go. Race time in Millersburg. A main time here in Millersburg. 40 laps on the one mile dirt oval. Let's see how we can do. Now remember, the AI cars have been entering turn one much higher than we have been. So uh, let's try and hopefully the uh, the setup changes we made really uh, allow me to get, oh boy, through the corners a lot better as Tony Stewart makes a pass on the outside of us. Greg Wilson gets by the inside of us as we lost some momentum. Corey Eliason going by on the outside as well. So we're gonna get by, back by Wilson. Back into the fifth spot, we just need to settle in here, start making some laps, get used to the setup changes I made. Oh boy, that's not where I wanna be on the racing surface because it's not the racing surface. Running fifth position right now behind Tony Stewart. We're gonna make a move on Tony Stewart going through turns one and two. On the bottom side of the racetrack, he's gonna power back by with that Ford power on the top side of the racetrack. We're going to go into turn number three, dive it down to the bottom right around that berm, or right around that inside guardrail, and grab that fourth spot. He's going to try to make a move on the inside. He looks back to the outside, heads into turn number one on the outside. We're going to make a move and make a stick. <coughs> oh, my goodness. Paul McMahon now in front of us. He finished second in our heat race. Remember, we passed him for the race win in that heat race. He's about three-tenths of a second in front of us now. I'm hopeful. Hoping we can go into turn number one here, dive it down to the bottom of the racing surface and grab some track position there. Look at that, right on his tail tank. He's going to pull us a little bit coming out of turn number two. Probably got a little more ponies under the hood than we do. But we've got a good handling hot rod right now as we're right on the tail tank. Only two tenths of a second behind it. McMahon going into turn number one. We're going to dive it down low just one more time. And grab P number three. We are now sitting in third place. But Paul McMahon making a mounting a charge on the top side. Trying to make something happen. Nothing doing just yet. We're going to slip up just a little bit. Coming out of turn number four. He's going to have a run coming down the fresh. There's nothing doing. Going into turn number one one more time. We're going to pull him by a few tenths. As we make a bit of a mistake. Coming out of turn number two. He's got a run. Going into turn number three, and are we going to be able to hold him off? Let's see. Coming out of turn number four, we're chopping down just a little bit. And we're able to hold him off. Still in third position is Aaron Reitzel. Zeb Wise running second and leading 
at the moment, about two seconds ahead of us right now as they're going to start approaching the back of the field here in a lap or so. <clears throat> going to try to settle in here and just run some laps. Try to not have any challenges from behind as we've got about half a second to McMahon behind us. We definitely gain a lot through the corners on those guys. He gained, oh, he gained a lot right there, though, as he's right on our tail. <coughs> Excuse me. Throat's a little scratchy right now. I need more beverage. We had a good, good corners one and two there. As we're going to complete lap 10 at the line, 30 laps to go. was a fast lap, Mr. Blake Anderson, announcer man. Only reason I know his name is from Flow Racing. He's been at a few late model races, and he's got a good voice. See, he he's in the he's in the right uh, right right career field. As the leaders have now gotten to the back of the field, they're now three seconds ahead of us, and we're about half a second ahead of Paul McMahon going into turn number one. Remember, we gain a lot of time going into turn number one. <clears throat> so we're pull, we pull on the car behind us and we gain in the car in front of us through turns one and two. Three and four, not so much. As we're, we are now approaching the back of the field and that is Davis, who is one lap down at the moment. Who is this car we are approaching now? The slow car of Bennett. I don't even know who that is. We're going to get by them. Coming out of turn number four down the front straight away. About two seconds now to Aaron Wright. So we've chopped off almost a full second as the leaders have gotten into lap traffic. Oh, clipped the infield guardrail. Inside guardrail, I should say, is Paul McMahon. He's going to make a run and get by us way on the bottom of the track. Ooh, not a good turn set of corners for us as Paul McMahon gets by for the third position. We're going to try and settle back in here, get by the lap car of Miller, and see if we can close in on McMahon and get that third spot back. Tony Stewart also within one second of us as we – Complete lap 15. We've got 25 laps to go with the lapped car of whomever that is. Carter slowing down McMahon a little bit. Are we going to be able to make a move coming out to turn number four? Going down the front straight away. No, we're not. <coughs> Still in fourth going into turn number one on that very bottom of the track where it's been working so well all night here or all day here at Millersburg. Nothing doing, though. McMahon seems to have gained. A decent head of steam there coming out of turn number two. We're going to get it on the bottom now again through turns three and four. Get a good run coming off of turn number four. Dive down to the bottom in turn one. Slide up into Paul McMahon. And oh no, he spins. He spins and there's a caution. There's a caution. That was 100% my fault. I am so sorry. That was not clear. He did not lose a position, no, nor did I. Whew. Zeb Wise leading, Aaron Wright's on second. And the green flag is back out as we are approaching the halfway point of this race. We need to get back down to the bottom of the track as Paul McMahon is trying to make a move on Aaron Reitzel for second. Man, I, I, I'd feel a lot worse about that if McMahon would have lost a bunch of spots. But as he and Reitzel are battling it out, we're going to get by both of them and grab second. Reitzel now on the top side, trying to grab second back from us as we've now got Zeb Wise within half a second of us for the race lead. I don't think we've got the speed right now to actually pull off a race win at this point. But McMahon and Reitzel going to get back by us, going down the front straight away. We're going to dive back down to that bottom of turn number one. That's been working so well for us all day here at Millersburg. As Zeb Wise starts to pull away, he's picking them up and putting them down. Oh, boy. This turn of events has been wild as we slide up 
coming out of turn number four down the front straight away again the dive down to that extreme bottom of turn number one and see if we can hold on to this second position over Aaron Reitzel. So far, we've been able to hold him off. Our weak spot has been coming out of turn number four as he's got a huge head of steam coming down the front straightaway. But we've got that all elusive turn number one. Oh, but it looks like he was able to make something happen there for in turns one and two as he's got a big, big head of steam. Going down the back straight away. <coughs> I'm so sorry. I need like constant water in order to keep my <laughs> my throat from getting scratchy. And McMahon and Reitzel are going at it for third and fourth, allowing us to put a little bit of a distance between ourselves and them. Zeb Wise is in his own zip code at this point. He doesn't have a huge lead, but it's big enough. We got. 17 laps to go. I think this might actually be one of the first races, if not the first race, we finish on the lead lap. Um, every other race we've gotten lapped, uh, at least to my knowledge. <clears throat> but we're running second right now. Aaron Reitzel's about half a second behind us. A little less than half a second, at, actually. But again, turn one is where we're uh, gaining all of our time. Man, I just can't believe Zeb Wise. And he's so fast that he's not. He's entering the corner so high and just diving down and arcing that corner so much. We just don't have the speed to run that kind of a line yet. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, eventually, we'll get there. As Reitzel's now caught us. <clears throat> Oh, and I made a little bit of a mistake there through three and four. He's going to get by down the front straight away. See if we can get back by him through the bottom on one of one and two. He's still there on the top side or to our top side. Is he going to be able to make that work on the top side? Yes, he is. And I think he's far enough ahead at this point that the bottom of the track isn't going to help us right now. So we are now solidly in third place. Ran second for a decent amount of time there, so I am thrilled with how this race is, has gone so far. And we actually made a move there and got back by him for a second. Had him for a second at the line. 12 laps to go now here at the mile. The Millersburg Mile is what I'm going to call it. I don't know why it took me so long to figure that one out. Uh, get through three and four here. He's got a, uh, ooh, he was looking low and nothing doing there. We're gonna get back in here. I think the more cars we can put between him and us, the better. <clears throat> but he's just been so good at navigating through the slower traffic. We're gonna try and get by those two cars right there. Ooh, he got slowed down just a tick. But he actually <laughs> looked like he gained speed. <laughs> 10 laps to go at the line now as we're 30 down. 10 to go here. This is a 40 miles is a long race <laughs> for a sprint car. We're going to get by Carter going into turn number three. Try to slow down right so a little bit, but not. It, 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 didn't, it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work at all. We are in 100% defense mode right now. Just trying to run our race and make him pass us. Uh, try to minimize the mistakes. Can't, don't ever say eliminate the mistakes. You're never going to eliminate 100% of your mistakes. Minimize the mistakes. Get by that slower car going into turn number one. I think we gained a little bit of traction there uh, with Reitzel. Ooh, messed up the entry there just a tad, but it might actually help us on the exit. There we go. Got by Diaz, the slower car there. So we've got seven laps to go now <clears throat> here at Millersburg. Zeb Weiss is almost four seconds ahead of us. Trying to focus. 
That was a fast lap. 21.09. Very fast lap. Ooh, I flubbed a little bit there, and I think that's the opening he needed. Maybe. We might be able to power back by on the bottom. Nope. Are we close enough to capitalize on our, our turn one? Oh, man. <laughs> right there. Oh, wow. This is a great race. At a mile track. Who the thunk? Yeah, the leader is four seconds ahead, but oh wow. Now we got Sam Haverty Jr. slowing down Reitzel in his preferred lane. Oh boy. <coughs> wow. Those setup changes I made were the difference maker. 100% they were the difference maker. Reitzel gets by Haferty. <laughs> coming down the front stretch as we've got three laps to go now it'll be two to go next time by Zeb Wise has a four and a half second lead he has to be running 200 miles an hour because we are hitting almost 190 and uh, man he's got to be just moving his right soul Tries to close in, tries to make a move on the inside. Nothing doing there as we close the door. Oh, I made a mistake. I hit the inside guardrail, coming to the white flag, and that's going to screw up my second place finish. Gah! Not enough time to reel him back in. That is 100% my fault. <coughs> unless, unless this lap car slows him down enough, and it's not. It's not, but hey, we're going to come home third at the Millersburg Mile. Wow. Our first top five. Our first heat race win, I believe. Man, what a great race. What a great race. Zeb Weiss gets the win, 14, 49, 47, the total time there. Aaron Reitzel comes home second. We come home third on the podium. Paul McMahon, Tony Stewart rounding out the top five. All right, man, I'm out of breath after that one. Race finished. We finished P3 at the Millersburg Mile. Oh, man, we gained, holy balls, several standings. Well, did we just gain one? We gained one spot. Well, but I think we're in for a good uh, set of races coming up here with our increased speed. Hopefully we can chop off and maybe even get into the top 10. Maybe. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough for sure. Whew. 27720 for the finish. 1330 from our sponsor and $628 in merch. We're leaving the track. $29,678. That's what I need. That is what I need. Let's head back to the race shop. See what's up next on the schedule. All right. Race summary. Millersburg. We finished third. Check out one of those sponsors. Go 31394 521 fans, moderate driving. We got some tires to fix. We got some wings to fix, but that's okay. Showcase completed with Lincoln Welders. That's what I like to see. That is what I like to see. Millersburg Showcase third. Five Forks is up next for rate. Oh, wait, nope. That's a 305 race. So what we're going to do, let's go uh, repair. You guys are getting some bonus action here. Repair that stuff there, and then we will simulate the 305 race. All right, five forks race summary, 23rd. The 305 races, the simulated 305 races have not been going well. I'm going to just tell you that right now. Oh, they've not. They've, they've not been going well. All right, next on the schedule, Stone Ridge. Okay, I'm excited for this one. We might be able to grab a win with this one. Uh, after that, we've got Five Forks in Oklahoma, then Roper Mountain in Colorado, Plum Branch in Kentucky, Sugar Bush. That's so wrong. And was that Tennessee? And then we head to California at Rockberry Raceway for race 21. 
<coughs> of 35. After that, we will head to, in terms of showcase races, Desert Springs. <sighs> I hate that track. And then after that, oh, we go back to Millersburg, though. Did y'all, did y'all see that? Look at that right there. <clears throat> we'll end the season at Sugarbush in about three weeks, three, four weeks. Uh, and then hopefully we uh, go on to a new season with the sp- uh, all-star sprint car <clears throat> around the time the World of Outlaws game comes out. So that's going to do it for us here today. Episode 29, Tony Stewart's Sprint Car Racing. Uh, I am the OGGO, Greg Osmond. Make sure you like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. So you follow along with this and everything else we got going on here. Oh, worn out after that one. Check the video description for all of our channel supporters, channel membership information, uh, all my merchandise is, is there. The link to my, my race pass store is there. Uh, YouTube Super Thanks channel memberships below the video. All that good stuff. Thank you so much for wa- watching, and as always, we'll catch you next time. <laughs>